Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing keto meatloaf. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's get started with this meatloaf. It is so good. I've got a special trick that I do to make it super, super yummy. So let's get started. We're going to start with cooking our onions and our garlic. I hate raw onions in meatloaf. So we're gonna cook them first. I'm gonna cook them in this skillet over medium heat. I've got a tablespoon of avocado oil and a small onion, a small diced onion. I love to use frozen onion. So that's what I'm using. They cook a lot faster and it's just easy. You don't have to dice it up, you're not crying. It's just so, so easy. So we're gonna saute these for probably about five to eight minutes until they are translucent. We don't want them crunchy. I hate crunchy onions in my meatloaf. Okay, our onions are looking good. We're gonna add in our garlic, minced garlic, two teaspoons. And we're just gonna cook it for about another minute. I'm gonna take all of this out of my skillet, put it in this bowl. Okay, it's time to make the meatloaf. We've got our onions over here, onions and garlic in a little bowl. So I've got two pounds of ground beef. Uh, we're using 8515 ground beef. I wouldn't really use anything more fatty. I would tend to go maybe a little leaner if you want to, just because whenever it cooks, all of that, the juices and stuff are gonna just come right out, come out of the meatloaf as it's cooking. So you might as well just stick to a leaner cut of beef. Um, so we're going to add our, I'm going to go ahead and add our onion and garlic. We've got a quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter of a cup of chicken broth, two tablespoons of Worc Worcestershire sauce, two eggs, and here's where things might get weird for you. I don't know, maybe, maybe this is nothing new to you, but whenever I was a kid, my dad used to do this, and I always loved it. So I've got three pieces of keto bread. This is Sola keto bread. Of course, my dad used regular bread, but I'm using keto bread, and we cooked it, I mean, toasted it, and then chopped it into a dice. And so we're gonna add that instead of breadcrumbs, or like almond flour or something like that. The toasty bread, it just adds so much flavor to the meatloaf. So now we just gotta get our hands dirty and mix this all up. You wanna make sure to not over mix this because then your meatloaf is gonna to be tough. Uh, you wanna just, just, just until it's mixed, not over mixed. Okay, now I've got a foil line sheet tray here. And I'm going to dump this out on my sheet tray. Okay. I washed my hands. They were just a little gooey. They're going to get gooey again, but oh well. So now we want to make this into a loaf shape. You want to really press it together because if you don't, and there's a lot of air bubbles in there, it's going to just fall apart when you go to cut it. So we really want to make sure that it's nice and tight as, as possible and an even you know even shape all the way through so it cooks evenly you could also put this in a loaf pan but it's going to take longer to cook and now we're going to spread three quarters of a cup of sugar-free ketchup on top and just coat it all the way around classic meatloaf flavor Okay, this is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna use a meat thermometer in the center and I want it to be 165. Okay, our meatloaf is out of the oven. It took about 45 minutes to cook. And just for presentation purposes, I put a little bit more ketchup on top, sugar-free ketchup, just so it wouldn't look all, it would just made it look better. So let's cut this piece and look at how amazing this looks. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut another piece just so you can see all of that deliciousness on the inside. So now time to try it. Mm. That is good meatloaf. I'm gonna get a piece, a bite with the bread in it. Mm, that is so good. You can taste the, the toastiness and then it's just, yeah, you know, just really good meatloaf. So I have a question for you. What do you like to put on top of your meatloaf? Are you a ketchup lover or do you like to put something else? Let me know in the comments. Be sure you check out this recipe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.